Welcome to day 16, prayer for increase in clients, favor, and opportunities. Yesterday, we tackled our relationships, our support system, and I pray that it was very enlightening for you, very freeing for you to make your list, to approach some people you haven't spoken to in a while. I know that it can be a scary thing to do, and it can be an uncomfortable thing to do, but I, if you haven't done it already, I really admonish you to do so, and you're going to feel so much better about things going forward. A lot of times when we're working in our business or just starting a business or wherever you may be, it's easy to kind of stay in our little bubble, stay in our little lab, stay in our little hustle mode. When we don't include other people, we think that everything is all okay with us, that we're doing everything right. But I hope yesterday challenged you to kind of look outside that bubble and go and go back to reach those people you have left behind, neglected, or the people that you need to reassure um, your appreciation of. So, you know, I know, again, it could be scary and uncomfortable, but but uh, trust me on this. Do it and you're going to see some results, okay? So now we're on day 16. Prayer for increase in clients, favor, and opportunities. Today's scripture comes from Psalms 90, 17. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Again, let the favor of the Lord be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. And that's what we're trying to do um, with these 31 days. And that was my intent with this prayer guide is that to marry success in spirit, because a lot of times we have the success and we think that we're getting it on our own accord. And then we have the spirit and we're just hoping, believing and dreaming and kind of putting things out there and not doing the work. So What's important in marrying the, the spirit and success is this right here, is that you allow the favor of God to be upon you and establish the work of your hands. You know, God, God can do so much. You know, he, you, you go one step, he'll go 10. I get it, but you've got to do the work. So pray today that God establishes the work of your hand. All right. So let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for granting me supernatural favor in my business. I attract new clients to my business every day. Help me to walk in integrity to maintain my clients. The opportunities are limitless with you. Blessed are my business and all my dealings. Provide me with quality, ideal clients who are a joy to work with and value my service. Clients that pay on time with ease. Your favor rests upon me. Establish the work of my hands. Shield me with your favor. Restore every disappointment I've experienced in the past. I pray for sudden blessings daily. I arise each day in expectation of your favor manifesting in my life. Blow my mind again and again. Amen. Prayer for increased clients, favor, and opportunity. You know, this is such a, you, this is why we're all in business, to increase in clients with our favor and our opportunities. And one, one of some characteristics that I kind of thought about uh, when you are asking for favor and increasing clients and opportunities, you've got to possess humility, integrity, boldness, and faith. Humility, integrity, boldness, and faith. You've got to be humble enough to say, you know what, God, I'm not worthy of this, but you know what? I know that you can do exceedingly abundantly above whatever I can ask or think, or just to be humble when things happen, to not get the big head and just be grateful. And God will continue to pour out his blessings and his favor upon you to walk in integrity. If you, you know, God blesses you with all these people, but you don't know how to keep them in, you know, you don't know how to keep your clients uh, through because you're running your business amok, you know, run your business with the utmost integrity at all times, even when it doesn't feel good. That's what being a boss is, is that you have to sometimes have uncomfortable conversations, but walk in integrity at all times and walk in boldness, walk in the boldness that you can declare a thing that things happen in heaven uh, before they happen on earth and declare that you will have an increase in clients favor and opportunities, begin to declare it and say it out loud, write it out, say it out loud. Just like with the morning prayer, evening prayer, start saying your declarations of what you expect in your business and have the boldness and most importantly, the faith. Don't just say something and then don't have the faith behind it. Just say, you know what, I'm just saying this thing 
And it's not, it's not going to work that way. You've got to actually believe it deep down that God is, is, is here for you. That the, the scripture says that he will not withhold any good thing from those who, who, who walk upright. He won't withhold anything. And sometimes we think that we're, uh, God is not moving. Yeah, he's always moving. Are you moving? That's the question. Are you doing and are you moving? Are you opening up an opportunity for favor and blessings and opportunities to come in? Are you walking in integrity? Are you walking in humility? That's what I want you guys to ask yourself today. In Ecclesiastic 9 and 11, and this is the amplified version, it says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither is the bread to the wise, nor riches to men of intelligence and understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. Have you ever watched someone and you see them prospering, you see them going forward, you see God just blessing them at every turn? First of all, you may see the glory, but you don't know the story. You don't know the backstory. But again, we're not comparing ourselves to other people. But this scripture reminds you that just wait your turn. Wait your turn. That the race is not given to the swift. It's not given to the one that it gives. It, it's given to the one that endures it all. In, in short version, you know, you may not be the smartest or the most intelligent, but the favor of God. Is so much more powerful than knowledge, skill, or anything else. The favor of God. So that's what I want you guys to really zone in on. Is that you have that favor of God available to you. And you can ask for the increase in your clients and your business and your opportunities. That God blesses you with things that you never could imagine. We have such an advantage with social media to reach out to, to celebrities and to high profile people. People to kind of push our brand over the nudge. But Again, develop relationships and don't ask for things not, um, you know, developing that relationship. But you know what? You never know what God can do. Don't limit God. If you don't get anything out of today, don't put limits on God with your own, you know, kind of limited ability and thinking and creativity. Allow the favor of God to rest on you in your business, in your life. And work on declaring things. I declare things all the time. I'll be looking at a stack of something or books or products and I'll say, you know what, God, I want to sell all of that tonight, you know, and I just do crazy things like that. And then soon as I say that, just out of the, I kid you not, this happened to me not weeks ago and I just started getting all these orders and every last one of those products were sold within the hour because I just declared it and I just kind of believed it and I just said, you know, I started getting the packages ready. All of that kind of thing. And I, of course, I did the work. I started promoting and different things like that. I did the work. Key word there. I did, I asked God to bless the work of my hands. I didn't just say this out of the blue, which that works sometimes as well, but do the work, right? So, but you know, God's anger. And, and some of you may think that you don't deserve the blessings of God and, and, and different things like that. But as we've been taking this journey, you're forgiving yourself, right? You're forgiving yourself of things and you're starting to have a better outlook on yourself. So, you know, God's anger is only for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may, may be for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalms 30 and 5. We're all familiar with that scripture, but I want you to let that scripture kind of uh, be embedded in you. That God's anger doesn't last forever, but his favor does for a lifetime. So when you're praying for these increase in faith in, in clients, I'm sorry, in favor and opportunities, you've got to do the work of your hands. What does that mean? When, in, when you're in business, you've got to understand metrics. Um, you should know, and if you don't know, you're going to start today. No worries. You should know what percentage uh, did your business grow from last year? What percentage did your clients, your client base grow from month to month? You, you understand what I'm saying? Like you've got to, uh, got to have real metrics. You can't just be busy, busy, busy and think that you're prospering. You've got to have some real metrics in place so you can see if you're really profiting with your business or not having an expensive hobby, right? An expensive hobby that makes you tired and away from your family. So 
with that, I'm going to I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I do. First of all, with declarations and affirmations, I write out I want to make X amount of dollars per month in my business from the following income streams and I'll put what it is that I have to offer times how many I want to uh, sell of that per month and that'll give me my monthly um, figure of how much that's going to cost. So I do that for every little thing that I do, even if it's speaking, book book signings, um, how many book books do I want to sell at a signing, how much do I want to... Um, you know, how many books do I want to sell? How many t-shirts do I want to sell? How many coaching sessions do I want to sell? How many coaching clients do I want to add? Just giving you an example. I have a number in mind. So if you have these numbers in mind, your metrics in mind, then that drives your, your marketing because you continue to market until you've met your metrics. These are not metrics that you, you know, tell people. This is only for you. Only for you and God. You don't say, hey, I, I get 10 clients today and I'm at eight. I mean, come on. Like, just keep it between you and God and on paper. You know, I have it posted on my printer, my mirror, my bathroom, and my refrigerator. So that's just my thing that, that helps me. And it just helps me to kind of keep focus and declare a thing to see where I am. You know, to say, you know, from this month to this month, percentage wise, I've grown this way. So today I want you guys to write down every single thing that you offer. If you do hair, you know, just just say if you're you own a hair salon, you have your clients that rent a booth, you have um, your clients that you do their hair. It could be uh, extra services tacked on to that. How many of those? packages if you will you want to sell per month if it's events how many events do you want to have per month if it's you know uh, business consulting how many clients do you want to have each month when that contract ends how many more do you need to start uh, you know adding to your roster if you will so you get what I'm saying like you need to know what you're what you're doing in your business you don't need to just be like oh I'm just so busy that you know what <laughs> that don't mean nothing like you need to know that you're making a profit, first of all, okay? Second of all, you need to know what the increase is. And then, you know what? Third of all, you need to know what you're praising God for. That I had a you know 33% increase in clients. Thank you, God. I declared it and this is what I'm believing God for. This is the opportunities I'm believing him for. So you just actually know what favor really looks like in your business. I hope this makes perfect sense to you. Like Psalms 84 and 11, God will not withhold any good thing from those who walk uprightly. Okay? So God wants to bless you, but you've got to do the work. And as the scripture reminds us today, he wants to bless the work of your hands. And you got to know what that work is and coming up with those metrics. So that's your assignment for today. I want you to watch the video today is Live Your Dreams. I know that we've covered Live Your Dreams, we've covered the subject and all that, but as we kind of go into this um, business uh, strategy and metrics, I want you to remind yourself of your dreams and why you're doing this in the first place. So definitely take a look at that video today, Live Your Dreams, and pray for increased clients, favor, and opportunities. Definitely put down your metrics and know where you are in business. Start keeping a record of how you're growing your business from month to month or quarter to quarter or year to year. But you got to know where you are so you know where you're going. All right. So we're praying today for clients that pay on time and with ease, clients that are ideal for you. And always remember, all money isn't good money. You can tell in the beginning if something is someone is going to be a headache for you. So definitely don't operate your business out of desperation pray for the for the favor of god to bring the the ideal clients that will be a joy for you to work with you know don't don't operate from a place of desperation that i need the money i need the money i'll take on whoever and oh my god they get on my last nerve but i'm taking them on because i need the money just breathe and pray receive spiritual instruction and be patient and wait on god because it's not worth it. All money is not good money. All right. So that is your lesson for today in day 16. I see you tomorrow.